This is Tara from Padded Tush Dots, and in this video we're going to look at the Rumparoo's G2 One Size Pocket Diaper. We received 33 survey responses for the diaper, and I'm going to walk you through different comments people had and tell you how this diaper worked for different baby types. Let's first look at the features of the diaper. This is a one size diaper, which means that it's intended to fit your baby from birth to potty training. You adjust the sizing using a snap down rise in the front that contains four rows of snaps. So if I were wanting to get this diaper on the smallest setting, I would just snap down the front here and get it really small. If I were wanting it on a medium setting, I would put it on these more medium snaps, or if I want it on its larger setting, I don't snap it down in the front at all. The outside of the diaper is made out of a waterproof PUL fabric. This is a pocket diaper, and that means that there's this little opening here where you can stuff in an insert. So you just take either the insert that comes with it or any insert so you can adjust the absorbency, and you just stuff it in there. The diaper does come with two inserts. There's the 6R soaker, and this is a one size micro teary insert with snaps on it that allows you to adjust the sizing depending on what size your baby is. Then there's the newborn insert, and this is intended to be put in the diaper if you're putting it on a newborn when you have the diaper on its smallest setting. However, you can also snap this insert onto the 6R soaker and get some extra absorbency for nighttime or for a heavy wetter. I will say that out of all the diapers that I have tried, this is the one of the very few that I have where what I purchased, the diaper of itself, can stand up as a night diaper for my babies. So that may be something for you to consider. I didn't have to buy any extra inserts to get it to work. It just worked as purchased. The diaper has what's called a poop scoop. This is a ridge across the back, and that's for extra protection against those nasty up-the-back poop leaks. There are double inner gussets for extra protection against leaks. The diaper comes with snap closures as well as hook and loop. The diapers that have the hook and loop closures have laundry tabs so that you can fold it down and it doesn't snag on other diapers in the wash. One of the things that you get with a lot of stay dry top diapers is that there's what's called pilling up and it's basically just when kind of like a fleece jacket that you may have, it just sort of gets those little balls on it. This is actually made out of micro camois, which isn't supposed to pill up as much as micro fleece. So let's look at the main findings. The diaper performed very well in absorbency, although not as well for being a trim diaper. It performed best on skinny babies and babies with larger waists, although not as well for rash prone babies. Several diaper owners were pleased that the diaper felt very soft against their baby's skin. Many did feel that the diaper was expensive and it did receive much lower numbers in regards to being worth the price. When comparing the overall diaper performance with the performance of all other pocket diapers that respondents have filled out surveys for, its average is slightly below the average for all pocket diapers. If we look at the fit of the diaper, we see that it's fairly similar across the board for the different body types, although slightly lower for taller babies. It's seen to perform very well for short babies and fairly well for skinny babies. People didn't really consider this diaper to be trim, especially the skinnier babies. It was more trim on the chunkier babies. Pros of the diaper, fit, cute colors and prints, easy to use, absorbent, quick drying, soft against the baby's skin, and durable. Cons of the diaper, the rise not being high enough, expensive, not enough colors and prints, that it leaves red marks, it leaks, and is bulky. Now let me give you some tips that survey respondents had. One respondent uses a Thirsty's hemp insert for long naps and nighttime in addition to the 6R soaker that comes with the diaper. Another respondent talked about how you should make sure the inner gussets are tucked into the legs. It's nice to kind of get it as close to the crease of the baby's leg as possible to prevent leaks. You can see who carries this diaper by typing in Rumparoos in the database at clothdiaperretailers.com. You can see who carries them, compare shipping costs, compare locations, see who has rewards programs, and so much more. 
If you've tried out this diaper or any other diaper, please head on over to Padded Tushstats and fill out surveys on the diapers that you have tried. Those responses go towards reviews and I'm so grateful for those of you who do this because it helps create some great reviews that help a lot of people out. So thanks again everyone.